We're Amber and Matt, and we've moved from the UK to Canada and are living and travelling in our truck camper Freddy. This week we're continuing our East Coast road trip and exploring Cape Breton. Come along. loop trail that should give amazing views over the coast um, already on our drive here it's been beautiful hasn't it mm. absolutely stunning yeah. um, so we can't wait to see what this trail has to offer um, so come along quick update we've arrived at the car park and we're the only ones here feeling pretty smug about our 6am wake up. Look how cool Matt looks in his outdoor adventure shorts, his luminous trainers, doing some hiking. Mr. Adventure. This trail is officially absolutely stunning. So after a fairly sweaty hike, we've just come for a swim and lunch at a beach. And um, we've just parked Freddy and couldn't get any better than that. We've both been for a swim, just had some lunch, um, fully revived after our trail. Um, what a stunning trail we just did. It was, words can't describe how beautiful that was. Um, didn't even mind the bugs, the views were so great. Um, yeah, so we just had our traditional lunch of cream cheese and cucumber sandwiches. I think Matt's just off to find some pudding. Um, absolutely stunning place to have lunch. I think we can both say that Cape Breton is so far the most beautiful place that we've been. The views are incredible. The water that we just swam in was so clear. There's hardly any people on this beach. There's maybe two other people. Um, and it's just fantastic so far and you can just see Freddie in the background living his best life. Oh. Oh. Look at my little chicken arms. How are you doing? Who's that doing?
We've just left our beautiful beachside spot. Um, what an afternoon, absolutely stunning. Lots of sea swimming, um, snacking, and sleeping. I don't know what that made me fell asleep. Um, we're on our way now to the Shetty Cam campground in the National Park. Um, we're just staying there for one night. Um, so if it's as beautiful as this park is, then I'm sure it would be a lovely night stay. First stop at our campsite is the dump station. This is obviously where you dump out your grey water, which is from your sink, um, and your black water, which is from your toilet. Um, super fun. Basically, we have a hose coming from the bottom of our camper, which Matt does, and then you pull a lever to open this kind of flap to the tank, and you flush it all down the drain, essentially. Um, we're very practiced at this now um, and it's a bit gross but it's an essential really to camper life so gotta do what you gotta do so here are the two levers that I pull that clear thing there is where Matt attaches the hose I wonder if anyone can tell me which handle you pull first Some homemade cookies, but kind of out of the packet, but actually fully out of the packet. 100% from the shop, but we baked them. Good evening everybody, so we've made it kind of halfway around the Cabot Trail now. Um, so you would have seen us yesterday, we did the Skyline Trail in Shetty Camp, um, we went to a beach, had a swim, it was a beautiful sunny hot day um, and the weather changed in the evening and got super windy and rainy so we've had quite a rainy day. Um, today, but we just drove from Shetty Camp, which is the beginning of the Cabot Trail, um, to near Cape North, I think it's called, which is um, kind of at the top of Cape Breton um, and is sort of halfway around the Cabot Trail. Um, but despite the rain, it's been absolutely stunning. I mean, we drove all the way here um, and it probably took us double the time because we just stopped it every viewpoint nearly got blown off the side of the road but we made it um, and we went to a super interesting whale museum um, um, where we learned about kind of whaling in Canada um, who knew that whales were super interesting I mean I guess a lot of people know um, but like I think it's a sperm whale their brain weighs 20 pounds um, and they can hold their breath for two hours I mean Matt and I tried to hold our breath see if we could hold it as long as a whale obviously um, and I lasted about 18 seconds so um, whales are pretty cool um, but it was pretty interesting to learn about the whaling history of Canada um, a bit of a sad history um, when the Europeans came over to Canada um, and colonised Canada essentially um, they kind of started this whaling trade um, and I think they said 50,000 whales would be killed in a year I think in the 60s and 70s um, they they stopped the, the kind of whale trade and I think it's illegal to um, hunt certain types of whales because they were near extinction um, and now there's just a lot of conservation and research being done about whales. Um, but it was super interesting. Um, and yeah, when we left there, came to our campsite. Um, really lovely campsite. 
Um, Matt ate some oysters and um, maybe he's going to go back for some crab tomorrow. Um, but we just settled in for a cosy night because um, it's been raining all day. Um, you might be able to hear it now. Really great day. Stunning views that you can't really describe by words or even by seeing a video. Um, so yeah, loving the Cabot Trail so far. We're just going to head to bed and see what tomorrow brings. Morning everybody, it's another day, another hike. Um, this time we're somewhere called White Point, which is about 20 minutes away from our campground, so a couple of kilometres. Um, we've left that campground now and we're slowly making our way to kind of like the other side of Cape Breton um, and we're staying at another campsite in the National Park tonight. Um, I'm gonna see what this hike's all about. Could be one kilometre, could be six, not 100% sure. Um, and then we might go for our traditional after hike swim. I believe Matt's getting adventure ready. There, he's put his adventure shoes on. We've just gone for a quick, quick wee in the camper, so I had to get the steps out and put them away again. Um, we're also uncreamed up. Probably need to put some insect repellent on as well. Um, and then we'll get going. We didn't go for a swim, but we had a bit of a paddle in the sea. Um, and now we've just pulled off at this little stop um, next to the ocean, just to have a bit of a plan for what we're gonna do for the rest of the day um, and the next few days. So we've had our little planning break um, and we've decided to go to Broad Cove, which is about 20 kilometres away from here, um, happens to be where we're staying tonight, but we're just going to go there, see if there's maybe a beach for swimming, um, or we might see if we want to do another trail, or go to a lake. So there's a lot of options. There's so many options, but we're definitely on the east side of Cape Breton now, um, where we were staying the last couple of nights, was kind of bang in the middle um, of the island, so yeah, making our way down the east coast um, on our way to, to North Sydney in a couple of days to get the ferry to Newfoundland. We have two minutes after we set our plan, we've had a change of plan. On the east coast you're never too far away from a lighthouse so we've just come to check this one out. We found a beach. It's not really a swimming beach though because the waves are absolutely massive. I don't even know if they were able to move. Over the waves. There was waves. Yeah, super loud. Super beautiful, but super loud. Next stop on the beach finding mission. A lookout. Still pretty though. So we found a swimming spot, it's not a beach, 
but it is a lake and uh, if anyone who knows Matt knows, he loves a lake, doesn't particularly like a saltwater sandy beach. So we found a good solution for him. So we're going to have a good swim because it's now absolutely boiling and yeah, happy we've found somewhere. Good evening everybody. I'm sporting some interesting sunburn around my neck, clearly missed that bit with sun cream. We've set up our, our spot for the night and uh, we've just been chilling. Matt's been watching people set up their camps. Um, we spoke to our friend Laura today, actually the person who got us together. Well, she likes to think so anyway. Um, and then we're going to cook on the fire this evening. Matt's gonna whip up some steaks and corn and some potatoes. So that's exciting. That's the first cooking over fire of the trip. Um, and it couldn't be a more beautiful evening to do so. Cheers. Cheers. the lovely morning we I drove us to a beach um, we weren't gonna have a swim but it looked way too enticing um, so we just went to a beach in Iganish which was about 20 minutes away from where we stayed last night um, on the east coast of the Cabot Trail and now we're just making our way to a cafe we've just stopped to admire the view So we're in Fortress Louisbourg, which is a French settlement and port um, on the St. Lawrence River. That the, around the 1700s, the French settled. And then, as per usual, the English came and besieged them and destroyed it so that they could get down to Quebec and take over Quebec. So uh, an interesting bit of history. Um, but they've rebuilt, they've fully rebuilt the place. We also learned about the Mi'kmaq indigenous people yeah. who lived here way before the French and 13, what they're doing. 13,000 years. Mm. And what they're doing to make reparations yeah. for all the horrible things that went on there. So we've been to the fortress of Lewisburg. Um, Matt had an 18th century rabbit stew. Um, got it all down his t-shirt, but it's nothing new. Um, and then we went and did a big food shop at our favourite supermarket, Atlantic Superstore. It's fantastic. Um, M&S is still my favourite though. Um, 
and now we had dinner and now we're just waiting for our ferry to Newfoundland um, watching some boats race I think I guess um, I think it's Newfoundland Newfoundland we're having disagreements about the pronunciation of Newfoundland or Newfoundland um, and yeah we're gonna get the ferry at 11 11 p.m. tonight don't have a cabin or anything so it's a sleep on the seat situation um, I think we get there maybe about sometime in the early morning um, so we're, we're armed with all of the seasickness medication but yeah so that wraps up our Cape Breton Cabot Trail video um, it was absolutely stunning I think it's probably the most beautiful place we've been so far um, but we're ready for Newfoundland to change that potentially um, yeah so the next time you'll see us We'll be in Newfoundland. Bye. Bye.